What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at Games Workshop's newest releases for this week. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the new Chaos Space Marine and Temp Militarum Tempestas Start Collecting Boxes. Spiky bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. These boxes are a great deal for hobbyists out there because they bundle together units that may or may not normally sell well by themselves, but together, bundled together, Games Workshop is able to offer a discount on these particular models, which, you know, finds it, they can be enticing for both new hobbyists and, and veteran players alike. There's special formations that come in each of these boxes. And so that kind of gives a little bit of a bonus too to, you know, pick up that special rule and get those cool, you know, benefits to your squads on the tabletop. Now, generally it's kind of vague, but a lot of times, you know, they, they benefit a certain type of unit that comes in the box. Sometimes it's like a, you know, a Chaos Space Marine HQ in general. So it can apply to some different things, not specifically the exact models that are in the box, but usually overall, it's a great boon to the army. And, you know, it gives you the little sheet, which I'm a fan of game aids, you know, where basically you have little cards and little sheets and, it, you know, you can kind of lay it out almost like you do in the X-Wing miniatures game and kind of see what you got on the tabletop. It gives you a quick reference, you know, and things. Um, I'm a fan of that. I don't exactly see GW doing it, but I'll tell you what, if there was a way to do it or somebody did some custom stuff, you know, I would play with those every game I played in. And, uh, you know, I think, I think it'd be a great benefit to the game. So getting back to the boxes themselves, um, these basically started, Games Workshop had started to round out the line because of New Battle for Vedros, kind of a starter line of products that are going into big box and kind of chain stores, at least here in North America. What's really cool about that is that all the slips that in the start collecting, you know, kind of intro type um, literature that's in the box points them at the Games Workshop page with all the start collecting boxes. So this is basically like the gateway into the full on game for a lot of folks. So I imagine we're going to see a lot of movement on these particular, you know, configurations of box sets. They have sold out a, a lot in the past. The Space Marine one's definitely a favorite for a lot of folks. I think the Skatari or Admech one is a good deal because it mixes both uh, at, you know, the new Cult Mechanicus and Skatari units together. So there's some winners, there's some losers, you know, depending on how you look at it. The Chaos Space Marine one might not be as desirable as some of us would want because the current, you know, meta is to maybe play with cultists and, you know, Mauler fiends and things like that. These actual units right here don't see a whole lot of play in the competitive scene, but on the casual side, you will see Hellbrutes, you will see Chaos Tacticals, you know, and you will see Chaos Lords of uh, varying equipment because it's, uh, it's pretty much wide open right there, right? Um, the Tempestus is pretty much standard. You're always going to see this sort of thing. You know, some dudes in a Tarox with a with a Commissar, I think, is is pretty is pretty baller. I mean, you can tell just by looking at these that it's a good value. Um, I, you know, most of the time, these multi-part guys are about 30, 40 bucks just by themselves. The box is 85 right there. You know, the math is good, <laughs> I feel like, for a lot of folks. So we've, we've reviewed both of these, actually all of these models before. Uh, done some unboxings of them here on the site or the YouTube channel, so you can definitely check out the individual stuff. But this just basically gives you an idea of how it's going to look, you know, what's going to come in the box. They're all individually sprued, like you would expect. You've got the Scion 1, the Scion 2. Remember, the Scion kit makes both the command and also just the regular Tempestus troops. Then you've got the Tarox, which, you know, a great little vehicle. I'd like to see somebody convert up one of those with a little, the armored container on the back, make a little Optimus Prime. That would be pretty neat. And the other half to the Tarox sprue right there. And then of course you get the new um, formation right here, which is pretty good. Uh, it contains a one Commissar, one squad of Tempestus Command, one squad of Tempestus Scions, which are the troopers, and a Tarox. And what happens is that basically, you can turn a hell, a hell rain brigade's commissar can call for reinforcements should heavy casualties be suffered. Each time a hellstorm brigade's unit of tempestus, scions is completely reduced 
or completely destroyed, you can, if the Commissar is alive, immediately place a new unit in ongoing reserves that is identical to the one that was just uh, destroyed in terms of number of models, weapons, and upgrades. So that's pretty neat because the squad could have 10 dudes in it and also, you know, they're troopers, so they're probably going to hold objectives. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, you don't get the command, you don't get the Commissar, you don't get the Tarox, but because technically a uh, transport is not an upgrade for a squad. But if you give them hotshot blasters or something like that, you would get that, right? And it comes with all the accoutrements we would come to expect. Uh, bases, the instructions, decals, the little... Uh, this is actually only comes in here because it's the instructions for how to put the Commissar together. Which, remember, he also comes in clan pack form. And then the instructions for the Tarox, boom, right there. So, pretty much everything you come to expect from a normal um, Games Workshop kit. Just, you know, it's basically the... I'm sure that a lot of the veterans out there would remember the, the old Battle Force boxes, which were a great way to get started on a new particular army. These are basically that for the 2000 uh, teens, I feel like. So we got the Tempestus one right here. And remember, all of these are $85, so they're a great value. And like I said, there's about uh, $50 of extra miniatures MSRP in both of these. You can check out the exact breakdown over on the site, spikybits.com. But, you know, we do, we added it all up, tallied it all up, and, and did the breakdown here. So, the Chaos one, here it is. You've obviously got your Tactical Marine Sprue, Tactical Marine Sprue right there. Then you got your Halberd Sprue, and remember this is the multi-part one, this isn't the one that comes in Dark Vengeance. So you get all the cool weapon options, like the Plasma and the multi melta there's also an Auto Cannon. Uh, what else, the Plasma Gun, oh, the T-Hammer, that's pretty neat right there. A lot of uh, bits that are about the same size, as something you could put on a demon print. So for conversion purposes, like if you're really into converting chaos up, which, hey, pick me, right? That is really neat because it's just a lot of cool bits. And then, of course, you got the multi-part uh, Chaos Lord, which is a kit uh, in and of itself. It's not the old clan pack variety. they never redone that. This guy's been around for about 10 years now. And then, of course, all your bases and the new formation itself right here. And this one's kind of neat because basically the Chaos Lord um, his bitter hatred for all things palpable, his presence sends his fellow Wraithborn into a murderous fury. The Chaos Lord and all Wraithborn units within 12 inches of him have the hatred special rule. So that would consist of one unit of Chaos Space Marines and a Hellbrute basically get hatred all the time. Which is a little bit better than, you know, the Veteran of the Long War ability that they uh, come with, which... Um, Hatred just in general is better than hatred uh, space marine, I feel like. And then you've got all your instructions, your base for your chaos lord, some decal sheets, the new chaos decal sheets, the manual for the hell brood, and the manual for the terminator lord right there. So pretty much, again, everything you would need. Great place to start if you're just getting into the hobby, or a great place to start if you're trying to pick up some miniatures on the cheaps, because these are a really good deal. Um, we just published an article a few days ago on Spiky Bits about actually getting into the hobby cheap and like what you gotta do and how you can save money in certain areas because hey, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes it's about saving a little bit of cash to spend on your models instead of spending all your money on, you know, like maybe hobby supplies or maybe models you don't need, which I feel like, you know, that it can happen sometimes with these starter boxes. You know, you pick it up and you're like, oh man, that hell is so fresh. And then you start pointing your army out and you're like, ugh, that's not exactly what I wanted. But then there's a lot of casual folks out there too that would just be like, hey, this is great. I love this little guy here and this little guy here and this guy here. And you put these guys all together and they do all sorts of cool stuff on the tabletop because they're more about like casual play. Like the other day I was actually in the game store, my local game store, uh, talking to a potential new player explaining to all the races, you know, and it was basically, hey, why are these space marines green? Why are these ones red? Why do these ones look evil? Uh, and then I had to explain the whole, like, political, like, kind of comparing it to, like, the current political thing here in uh, North America. You know, we got our presidential election coming up here in the States. But, um, and it's, of course, uh, oh, that's a whole nother thing. But anyways, so I was explaining to him, you know, well, well it's kind of like uh, a different point of view here, you know, in the galaxy, they think they're right. But, you know, the rest of the galaxy, you know, kind of thinks they're wrong. So these guys over here, you know, these these normal space marines, they're the good guys, depending on your point of view, you know. So kind of giving them a little current events kind of uh, a comparison to the game itself. And then, you know, oh, these guys are like the special forces, you know, and explaining the whole hobby to him. And it was kind of weird, like, I'd never actually done that in the past, like, five years or so. Basically explaining all the models and, and how it all, like, kind of works together 
And, you know, they were even like, well, what's the 40,000 mean? I was like, oh, well, it's the year 40,000. And then I started explaining about the, you know, how mankind expanded through the whole universe. And, you know, pocket colonies were found that had, uh, you know, basically explored ahead of everything. And, you know, new technologies were rediscovered. They weren't necessarily new. It's kind of like the whole thing where we just push a button and it just kind of works and we don't understand how it works kind of type thing. Even now, I mean, how does a microwave work? Sure, it uses microwave beams, but really, how does it work? And not many people know. They just press, you know, two minutes, enter. So it's, you know, it's little silly stuff like that. There's interesting parallels you can draw to current day. And I feel like people are more apt to get into a game if you can compare it to uh, current events, kind of, you know. So I don't know. You maybe drop some tips in the comments of how you would uh, explain the game or uh, explain the hobby to somebody, to a potential, um, you know, new hobbyist out there. And because uh, that's really interesting, it was a really interesting conversation I had the other day, and I, I kind of really dug it because I was like kind of making it up on the fly, but kind of like you know mixing in some some sale stuff, even though it's not even my store. But you know, just showing value, I was like, well, these are a great place to go because you basically save fifty dollars on your miniatures, you know, and then you can afford some of the hobby supplies uh, to scoop up. And then obviously, you know, being in a hobby store, people know about you know Walmart and things where you can get primers, which may or may not be good, you know, depending on how professional you want to be. Um, a lot of times at the end of the day, there's no difference between a GW $17 can of primer and a $7 can of uh, Duplicolor, you know, from Advanced Auto or something like that. So, you know, it's just, it really just comes down to personal preference and a lot of things. And not only that, but even in just getting started, I feel like. So there's a lot of choices out there. Everybody can really put their mark on their hobby and, um, you know, drop some, uh, drop some thoughts in the, in the comments down there about how you would. Uh, talk to you know a potential a new hobbyist out there and kind of the different strategies you would take because I'm sure with Vedras out we're going to see a lot more of these folks uh, you know coming out of the woodwork at our local stores here in the near future hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed all right guys that's it for this one thanks for watching have a great hobby weekend deleted scenes bonus content all the interviews and post game wrap up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on the longward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.